Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another installment of one of my favorite topics, narcissism. Narcissists are all about themselves all of the time and a lot of them will do anything to get a little more attention. Because of this, it can sometimes be difficult being around them. Conversations may turn one-sided, tensions may arise, and you may find yourself the target of their jokes and frustration. So if you don't know what to do when you're spending time with a narcissist, here are five things you could try. Number one, compliment the narcissist sincerely. Narcissists often believe that they are special. The way they think and do things are second to none. So a way to keep them in a good mood is by inflating that superior feeling. But to do so, you have to be sincere. You can play it up a smidge, but it can't be totally fake. Dr. Grande, a PhD in counselor education and supervision, explains in his video that there are different types of narcissism. Compliments help when you're with someone who presents as a grandiose narcissist. Number two, don't owe them favors. When someone does something for you as a courtesy, you usually owe them back a favor. If you're low on money, your friend might pick up the bill for lunch, but the next time you both grab a coffee, you may pay as a thank you for before. Narcissists see this as an opportunity to use this kind gesture against you. How do you stop this from happening? Take favors off the table. Let's say you need someone to pet sit while you're away. If possible, avoid asking the narcissist. If they say yes, this opens the door for them to ask a favor from you. If it's off the table, they have nothing to hold over your head. Number three, keep your cool. Narcissists love attention. One way they can get their attention is by saying and doing things that are pretty out there. This could be wearing really loud clothes, saying something really rude, or making a scene in public all for attention. But what if you don't give them that attention? Dr. Grande explains that keeping calm and taking that attention from them can help curb their behavior, or at least for that moment. So if the narcissist is doing things to get a reaction out of you, whether it's to get you to yell, cry, or storm off, remember to stay calm. Nod and say, okay. This can help to de-escalate the situation. Number four, be on their side when they're upset. When narcissists are upset, it's very possible that they take it out on anyone who stands in their way, whether they deserve it or not. Since the Harry Potter's invisible cloak doesn't exist, you can try to get on their side to avoid another blowout. While you don't have to agree with what they're saying, you can say things like, you have every right to be upset, I would be too, or I'm sorry you have to go through that. In this way, you can acknowledge their feelings and ease the tension in the room. Number five, ask them about their dreams, but don't point out anything odd. According to the DSM-5, there are nine symptoms and behaviors that are required to be present for an individual to be diagnosed with a narcissistic personality disorder. Two of these symptoms are a grandiose sense of self-importance and fantasies. This means they think they're better than everyone else and may often daydream a lot, usually about how successful they are or will become. Sometimes these dreams may shock others. For example, their goal may be to become the new CEO of the company they work for. This may sound normal until they tell you they want to accomplish this by getting the current CEO fired with a made-up scandal. Instead of pointing out how wrong this is, which may lead to conflict, you might simply state, wow, that's really interesting. By doing so, you're not supporting them and you avoid triggering or antagonizing them. It's difficult to be around a narcissist, let alone have a conversation with one. Hopefully these suggestions help ease the tension and decrease the number of fights. If you think you or a loved one may have a narcissistic personality disorder, please reach out to a trusted mental health professional. What other situations can we help you navigate next? Let us know in the comments. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in our next one.